Okay guys, this is my second video. This time I'm doing my review on my model cars. The six that I have also. So again, my six favorites. Okay, to start off, we have a nineteen sixty nine Pontiac GTO Judge. I bought this at Cracker Barrel for sixteen ninety nine. For a good price, cause there was this other guy I went to around where I live, and he wanted the same identical car for forty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents, for basically forty-five bucks, and I bought this for like a whole lot cheaper than what he was asking for. As you can see, it has the big block motor, all the logos, the GTO, the chrome wheels, the Judge badging. The interior is actually pretty neat because it's tan. They have every little detail. But if you look close enough on the speedometer, you can see the the numbers and stuff. On the back, you have a tag that says GTO, actually. It's actually a really neat car. Recently bought. So, Here is my second car, which is actually the first car that got my collector started. It is a 1963 Cadillac DeVille. This hood is actually broken, though. As you can see, there's a little rubber band right there attached to the door. Yes, I know. But anyway, there's nothing original about this car. Everything about this car is all custom. Anything from the wheels to the interior where you can see the speakers even in the trunk they have speakers there's nothing original about this car it's all custom it's the car that got my collector started as a collector I just saw it one day at the gas station it had a lot of appeal to me so I bought it on to the next on, on to the next my next car is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. This car is actually the second car that I bought. And I bought it at a flea market in Florida for $16.99. Same as this, the GTO. This car right here is pretty light all along. As you can see, it's all original. And then inside, you know, you have the uh, radiator, and you can see the motor all chrome, the headlights, you know, the interior is black and white. It's real cool. You can see, you know, trunk. It's got, it's actually have fuel injection written on the side, so this car is pretty spot on. It's actually the second car I acquired. This car is a three speed also. For a 57, it is a three speed. So, yeah, that's a little cool. We got the little Chevy. I don't know if you can see it on the front. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, next. These are the 124 models. If you're just wondering, these are the 124 model scale cars. I do have two, which will come later on in the video that are 118 scales. This is a 1960 Chevy Impala. All black, all original. The thing about the Impala, none of the models, the trucks do not open. So basically, you know, this car is all original. It has black interior. The black interior. Black or white. So it's got the white bubble top, you know, original motor, if you even consider that a motor, you know, the white wall tires, every little detail, even the impact look on the side. So yeah, this is a pretty cool car. On to the 118 model scale. Okay. This is the one I, re I recently bought. 
This is the one I recently bought. It's a 1959 Chevy Impala. All original. Baby blue. It's probably one of the best looking cars that I own. Has the good color. The interior. Blue and white. Oh, you got cat's eyes for the tail lights. 59 on the plate. You can have the long spare tire. But like I say, on none of the working models, the trunk do not open. I don't know why. As you see, it's got the original motor on the inside. The steering does work on this car, as you can see. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal. Bought it for 20 bucks at the Charlotte Auto Fair, which is a show that comes to Charlotte, North Carolina, which is about an hour away from where I live. It comes to Charlotte, North Carolina every year. I go there every year. And I had to buy a car because I started collecting. And I picked this one up. Good deal. 20 bucks. This next car I'm about to show is probably my most prized possession. Probably one of the rarest models out there today. A night. 1958 Plymouth Fury, my prized possession, my pride and joy. You know, it's got plastic motor in it, though, but you can see it's got all the details that a 58 Fury would have at that time. As you can see on the inside, it has the tan and brown interior, which is actually pretty nice. On the side, it says Fury. The trunk does open lots of trunk space. And this is probably my prized possession. Ever since I saw the movie Christine, I had to have a 58 Fury. No matter if it was a model or the real car. The real car is kind of expensive, so I wait till I get a career to get one of those. But yeah, this is probably one of the best cars. I bought this off of Amazon for $24.99. And. Yeah, 58 feet. Best in the world. So, guys, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video and subscribe. If you have any requests, please contact me at my channel. As you can see, Classic Car Guy 97. See you later.